project is the combination of the amphibian robot and the quadcopter. We have designed this robot for the surveillance over a remote area in all the three medium that is air, land and water without any human assistance. This is the block diagram of the arrow amphibian robot. Now we are going to see for the amphibian part. MSP430 acts as the heart and also as the brain of the project. Four motors that is forward motor 1, forward motor 2, backward motor 1 and backward motor 2 are connected to the MSP430 via an L293D H bridge which is a motor driving circuit. We used a 12 volt battery to give a supply to the motors to MSP430 through a voltage regulator. For the amphibian part we have used an inlet pump and an outlet pump which is also controlled by the MSP430 through a hedge bridge. The wireless camera is used in which the image processing is done by C6000 processor. Now the instructions are given to the MSP430 using the Bluetooth HC05 module. Here we are using a Bluetooth SPP application for its control via a smartphone. This is the connection that is given as per the block diagram. The four wheels will be used for the movement in terrain and the propelling blades inside the wheel will be used for the locomotion in and on the water surface. This is the app that we are using for controlling the robot. This is how our amphibian robot work in the terrain with the help of smartphones. When we press the forward, the MSP receives the signal and all the four motors rotates forward. Then while pressing the backward, all the four motors rotates backward so that the robot moves as the same. When left is pressed, the two motors rotates forward and the two motors rotates backward and the robot will turn left. Right turn is working exactly opposite to the left. Now we are going to see the basic working of the amphibian robot. It involves two pumps, inlet pump and the outlet pump. The inlet pump sucks the water from the outside to the body so that the weight increases and the body goes down. Now the outlet pump sucks out the water and hence the weight decreases and the body comes to the water surface. Now we are going to see the real time working of the amphibian robot. The inlet pump is turned on and slowly the water is getting onto the body. The electronic components are fully shielded to ensure that no water is getting into the circuitry. As the battery, motors and all the electronics are placed inside the robot, its weight may be considerably high. Hence, to prevent the automatic submerging of the bot, we have provided a foam so that it opposes the weight. By the inflow, when the weight is considerably high, the bot submerges. Thus, in this video, we have shown that the bot can also move inside the water with propeller wheels. When the outlet pump is on, the bot comes onto the surface. This is the design of the quad capter that is implemented in our project. This quad capter is called as drone. By adjusting the spinning of motor, the direction, takeoff and landing are controlled. 
we have planned to interface this drone with our amphibian robot such that it acts as an aero amphibian it consists of camera that streams the video through the rf signals the amphibian will also have the camera for the surveillance under water Thus, we are thankful for the TI for giving us an opportunity to participate in this innovation contest. We thank our HOD and our mentor Dr. G. Vairavel and our guide Prof. G. Mahilsamy and all our faculty members for their encouragement and support. Thank you.